and welcome back to this week's video. Um, this week I'm going to talk to you about something that I have found very useful, very enjoyable, something that's very close to my heart. I'm going to be talking about um, how I use aromatherapy oils and essential oils in my writing sessions. It's no secret that I use them for every writing session. Um, I often uh, post about it on Instagram um, and you'll see my diffuser which is here um, in the background of many of my posts or it's always blowing, uh, going when I'm doing a YouTube video, except for today because you know I'm using I'm using it for demonstration purposes, so I haven't put it on. Um, but anyway, so before I start, I just want to say that this is not medical advice. It's it's I'm not a medical practitioner. This is just me sharing something that I find useful, something that I find enhances and lifts my mood while I write. And I'm hoping that if you're that way inclined as well, you might find some benefit from the information I'm going to give you today. So this video is going to be about my top five um, essential oils that I use in my writing sessions. These are you, these are usually my go-to. I have others, but these five are usually my go-to ones. Um, so yeah, um, but before I do that, before I go on to the actual oils, I just want to talk about what is aromatherapy. So aromatherapy has been used for centuries. It dates back to somewhere around 3500 BC and has been used in religious ceremonies, um, perfumes and even medicine. It's the practice of using essential oils for therapeutic benefits. You can put them in what they call a carrier oil, which is usually something like almond oil, um, because some aromatherapy oils cannot be used on, on the skin. Um, and then when you put them in the, when you mix them with the carrier oil, you can massage them into your skin. Um, some people use them in a bath. I have some oils that I use in the bath as well to um, relax me and to um, calm my mind sometimes but you need to check which ones you can do that with because as I say some cannot be used in that way um, and you can also diffuse them which is what I'm going to be talking about today so diffusing is where you have a diffuser you fill it up there's a tank inside that you fill up with a little bit of hot water uh, cold water and they range from somewhere like 100 mils which I think this is um, possibly 100 mils of water inside and um, they go they, they vary in um, sizes, the tanks. And then once the water's in there, you can put a few drops of aromatherapy oil inside, switch it on, and your room is filled with a lovely scent of whatever you've put in. So, um, so how do aromatherapy oils work? When they're inhaled, the scent molecules in essential oils travel from the olfactory nerves directly to the brain, and especially to the part of the brain called the amygdala, which is the emotional center of the brain. The amygdala is part of the brain that controls the emotional responses and plays a key part in memory and learning. Um, and I think that's why it's so useful um, with having essential oils on in the background while you write. It kind of un I, I think it unlocks something in my brain, certainly. So um, yeah, that's why it's so good to have around when I'm writing. Um, with that all said, by the way, uh, the information the research that I've done into this, I've found two articles in particular that I'm going to link into the description box below. So please feel free to check them out. They're interesting reads if you're that way inclined. Um, but yeah, that's um, all the information that I've sort of gleaned for this video can be found there. Um, so with that said, I'm going to show you some of my favourite oils. Let's get on to the good stuff. So the first two that I really like are lemon and grapefruit. Um, they're both, obviously they're both citrus scents, and citrus scents are really good for sparking creativity, it's really good for energising your brain and energising your thought processes. Um, and I think that these two oils in particular blend very well together. I sometimes add lime as well, but um, these two are definitely my favourites. Um, and just so that you know as well, all the oils I'll show you today, well all the oils, I, most of the oils that I use are from a website called nakura.com, which again I will link down below. Um, they've got some really, they've got a whole range of scents in there, some are a bit wacky, some are more traditional, um, and some are combinations, so you do get scents for like creativity that they've already pre-mixed for you, so you don't, you just need that oil and then you just stick that into your, you just drop a put a few drops into your diffuser and you're away. Um, so I will link a li I will leave a link to that website down below as well. Um, so my third oil is peppermint. Pe oh goodness me, the light again. Peppermint oil. Um, this is really good. Again, it's a, it's a refreshing oil and for me it, it awakens my mind and my senses. 
Um, it gives me a boost of energy as well. And also, this, this oil, just as an aside, blends really nicely with lavender. And I use peppermint and lavender as a mixture to uh, combat migraines and headaches and things. It helps ease um, ease me, ease my head when I have a headache. So that's something to bear in mind for lavender, uh, for peppermint, sorry. Um, so my next um, essential oil is rose. I've recommended this to a lot of people in my life because I think rose wasn't initially a scent that I really went to, um, but as I grew, as I don't know, as I grew older, I it became more appealing to me, and it's such a calming floral scent. Um, it helps me deal with the anxiety, so it's particularly good when I'm feeling overwhelmed with a scene or if I'm feeling like imposter sy syndrome or if there's just something niggling away in the back of my mind. Um, I put a bit of rose in my essential oil and I mix it with frankincense, which is again my fifth and final favourite oil. Um, and that's another good calming oil and they make a really good combination, especially if you're dealing with like, I find it useful for writer's block, as I say, imposter syndrome and things like that. Um, frankincense is also very good for memory and concentration as well. Now obviously there are other scents that you can use that are good for writing. I mean, I just, sometimes if, if I feel like doing so, I just Google um, aromatherapy or essential oils good for writers and a whole list will come up. Um, but these are my favourite ones, these are my personal ones. And aromatherapy, you've got to remember, is personal, it's subjective to you. Um, so you're probably going to have to try out a few. But these are the ones that I would recommend that as a starting point for writers. Um, <coughs> also, as an aside, remember, when you're filling this up, you don't need to over, you don't want to overwhelm the diffuser with the oils because it will clog up the diffuser. I've done that um, with a previous diffuser, um, which will mean that you'd either have to seriously try and clean it or you need a new diffuser and uh, probably not the best thing to have to go and worry about. On top of everything else, you probably have to already worry about. So you don't need a lot. Um, they are quite strong, you know, so you, sh you should only need a few drops of each. Um, but again, what works, how many drops I need will probably be different from how many drops someone else needs. So again, that's a bit trial and error. Um, but as I say, they do immeasur immeasurably improve my writing sessions. So I hope they, if you do try this, I hope they improve yours. Let me know if you do try these and if they do help you with your writing sessions, I'd be very interested to know. Um, and if you've got any recommendations for essential oils, if you already practice um, using essential oils in your writing sessions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to um, explore other oils and other scents as well for my own writing sessions. So uh, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's writing session, uh, this week's video even. If you did, please leave a like, uh, please leave a comment and like the video, share it if you feel so inclined and don't forget to hit that notifications bell so that you never miss a video again. Until next week, I'll see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.